Welcome to Raw High Media for you. Remember, you may be a visitor, but never a stranger over here at Raw High Media. Let me holler at y'all for a second. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get in where you fit in, fool. You was a mark at the high school. Now you're hardcore like CB4. Bite. What you want to be me? Oh, yeah, that's probably yeah, 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 Y'all probably don't know nothing about that right there. Anyway, fellas, I know I've been gone for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm, I've been doing life. That's what I've been doing. I've been doing life. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to handle up. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. But anyway, today, guys, I want to talk to y'all a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, some of this straight hating that's coming from these Pac-12 coaches. You know, one of them had nerve to say, hey, Coach Prime is in a lose-lose situation. A lose-lose. Correction. Colorado is in a lose-lose situation dealing with Coach Prime. So, you know, I just want to kind of get into that, talk about that for a quick second. But first, let me go ahead and knock this out real quick. I, you know, it's been itching at me, so I just want to go and clear this up real quick. And it's something I've been hearing. I've been hearing people say, like, for example, the Colorado Bulls, if you lose your – if they lose Shador Sanders, then their season is lost. That a lot of it's hanging on uh, Shador Sanders, they, their starting quarterback for this upcoming season. Uh, let me just hit you all to a little game. Just a little game. Just a little game. First, foremost, uh, if any team lose their starting quarterback, their season is most likely lost. Let's just get that out of the way. Second, second. Oh, uh, before I even hit second, what about this? Hey, if let me tell y'all something. Let me enlighten you. If USC lose their lose their starting quarterback, their season is probably lost. Now they may win four, five, six ball games, but USC ain't playing this season to win that many ball games. They're trying to go to the college football playoffs. Uh, last year, Alabama. <laughs> hey, Alabama, if they had lost their starting quarterback, guess what? They would have lost more games too. Oh, uh, what about um, – hey, Ohio State, if they had lost their starting quarterback last year, mm, they would not have made the college football playoffs. What about, uh, hey, Baltimore Ravens? They lose Lamar Jackson, their season is probably lost. What about the Buffalo Bills? That's what, what about them? If the Buffalo Bills probably lose their starting quarterback, their season is probably lost. So anyway, I say all that to say this. Fellas, ladies, if y'all listen to anybody, anybody that says that, just hit the move on button. Just swipe left or whatever, they, whatever you do. Don't pay no attention. Yeah, I said it. Don't negative pay no negative attention, attention, not attention, attention to anybody that says, hey, if you lose your, if this team lose their starting quarterback, the season is lost. No shit. Hey, guess what, though? The sun going to rise tomorrow. The sky is blue. Stop signs are red in America. So, why are they saying, why are they stating the obvious? You're right. You're 100% right. So anyway, if y'all, if that is a concern, you ain't, you don't know nothing about no football anyway. You need to just hit the dough. Tell them to hit the dough. That's just the most asinine thing. I, I, I'm listening to him, man. <laughs> I'm listening to him talk about this and say this and harp on this. And I'm just like, who listens to people that say is you, if you lose your starting quarterback, the season is lost? No shit, Sherlock. Let me tell y'all something else. Let me, let me tell you something else. Let me just peep you the game real quick. Nine times out of ten, if your backup is just as good as your starter, that means you don't have a starter. Pause for effect. If your, I'm going to repeat, if your backup is just as good as your starter, Nine times out of ten, you don't have a starter. You don't have a starter. Yeah, I'm standing on that. Y'all get in my comments and holler at me and say, hey, man, that don't make no sense. That's BS. You ain't got no star. So anyway, moving on, guys. What we want to talk about today is the Lulu situation with Colorado. This co this Pac-12 coach was talking about, you know what I'm saying, they straight hating. You know what I mean? Because that's what they do. They hate on Coach Prime. I understand why they've been hating on that dude since he came out of the Florida State. So let's get into this. So some anonymous coach says that if – basically what he's saying is that Coach Prime will fail miserably at Colorado and they will have to fire him. So, uh, okay, that's what happens with a lot of coaches when they fail miserably. Here we go, stating the obvious again. 
Second, let's uh, in that same you know on the, in that same vein. If Coach Prime gets fired because he failed miserably, is Colorado in a better situation today, just simply today, than they were eight months ago, ten months ago? Colorado now is a household name. Everybody talking about Colorado, and y'all trying to listen. That ain't losing. They're not losing. They ain't even played a game in Colorado's winning. So if Coach Prime was to fail, then they could just insert next coach because he Coach Prime has placed the university in a much better light even right now. Everybody's talking about Coach Prime. And then if he loses, everybody's going to be <laughs> – correction, not everyone. Those haters are going to be jumping for joy like, oh, I'm so glad he's gone. Oh, I'm so glad he's gone. I told y'all that was going to work. I told you. I told you. And all that I told you and all that on prime time media, you know what I'm saying? Of the I told you, guess what? They're still going to be talking about Colorado. So Colorado will be on the tips of everybody's tongue. Thus, the next coach to come in, he ain't got to get him out of depths of hell. He ain't got to pull him up out of there. Now he can just do his thing and be successful because – Colorado is a university now dealing with football that's on the tips of everybody's tongue. You got Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan's, LSU's, and guess what? <laughs> you got Colorado right there in, right there in with them, and they only won one ball game last year. That ain't no, that ain't that ain't losing. Y'all winning. You are winning in that respect. Second, he said, okay, you know, because he said it's a lose lose. The other lose, on the other part of the lose, is he's saying that if they win, then Carl, uh, Coach Prime, he up out of there. Yeah, I said that, up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So if if he's winning, right, I just don't particularly subscribe to that. Let me tell y'all something. There's one team, right? Well, actually, there's two, Florida State. But Florida State coach now is doing a good job. He ain't. He's not on the hot seat. He is not on a hot seat. If Coach Prime wins, there's one threat, in my opinion. There's one threat. And I don't necessarily think it would happen, but I do believe this. That's that Florida team. Yeah. Florida, Billy Napier, coaching there at Florida. That brother in trouble. And coach and Florida is desperate to get back to day to the days of Steve Spurrier. You know what I mean? Urban Meyer. Florida is a was a perennial national championship winning university and they are desperate for it so this year Bill and Napier he's trying to improve you know from, from last year so they're not gonna win a lot of games in my opinion especially in that conference then next year the year that they're thinking they should win double digit have a double digit winning record have anybody looked at their schedule? It is brutal. So Billy, Billy Napier, he's probably up out of there. And that's the only threat I see. Because I, I just believe if Coach Prime is successful, any little bit of success at Colorado, they are going to throw the bank. You know what I'm saying? Wells Fargo, Bank of America. Hey, they going to uproot. Those banks and throw it dead at Coach Prime because they know if he can be successful at Colorado, which he's grabbing a whole lot of Florida recruits, he's going to be extremely, he will be extremely successful at Florida. Guys, I talked about this before when I was talking about Auburn. You know what I mean? And it's, it's that if you go back and listen, man, it's that show, you know, one loss is another's game. Guys. I'll put, the, I'll put the link in the description. Man, y'all take a peek at that. But those same things that would apply to Auburn would apply to Florida. So I think that's the only, I mean, the only team that I feel that has a shot. And it, it wouldn't even be after the first year. It would be after year number two, the 2024 season. And I, I believe that they'll throw the bank at uh, Coach Prime to try to, uh, you know, to get his services over there, but, you know, Recruiting out of Florida. I mean, no one would stop him. Oh, yeah. Y'all better watch out. It's the Florida Gators is the biggest threat to yank Coach Prime. And, and even that being said, I don't believe. I, I still don't believe that he would leave for that university because Colorado can pay him just as much, less pressure, 
more appreciation, and an easier path to the playoffs and winning championships. So I don't, I, I can't see it. I, 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 don't, I don't see him leaving after win, if he's winning. I, I just don't see it. Makes absolutely no sense to me. Not if it was Florida State, that's alma mater. You know, saying maybe, you know, then you, you're dealing with a few different things. But I mean, go to and coach in the SEC when you, you know, you can lose three, you can lose three or four ball games and still be the fifth best team in the country. I mean, who, why sign up for that? When you can continue to achieve what you're achieving in Colorado and make the same amount of money and less pressure. So I, I can't see it. I, that right there, whoever this Pac-12 coach is, that because he said it anonymously, you know, that's, that's some more that Deion Sanders hate. Anytime you do something different, anytime you do anything different, then people are going to hate on it. And that's basically what it boils down to. And so – Anyway, guys, I just kind of want to touch on that. I want to holler at y'all real quick. I know I've been out, out of commission. You know what I'm saying? I apologize for that. You know, so, uh, you know, holler at me, man. Get in my comments. Let me know. Let me know what I'm talking about, whether it's foolish or not. And uh, give me your opinions on it. You know, hey, I love the scent. So, man, hey, if you don't, you ain't feeling what I'm saying, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell me. You know what I mean? That helps me. So, remember, man. I don't present the information, bro. I'm just trying to have a conversation. Raw High Media, Gil Cabo, I'm out. Peace.